Natalie Parra, Kikatan High School, Salutatorian, Class of 2022. It's honestly really a title never, that I never thought I'd receive. Um, I went into high school just expecting to do my best. Um, and then when I found out the rankings, even back in freshman year, I was really surprised. Um, so to be named salutatorian was something I never thought that I'd get to do. Um, and now it's really cool to get to see how my hard work's paid off while also representing my school and showing other people around here that Kikatan is a good school. <laughs> One of my fondest memories is actually going to Model General Assembly in Richmond. Um, it's this really cool program where a bunch of kids from across the state get to get, to get together. Um, and we basically write bills with the Virginia Code and then we get together in the Capitol in Richmond and we debate topics. Um, it's some of my favorite time to be around other people who have similar passions to you. Um, and we talk about issues like super small issues like dogs all the way up to abortion rights and gun rights. Um, so it's really interesting to get to be with other people in, like that and I get to travel with members from my school um, and there's weeks of preparation leading up to that and I love connecting with those types of students. Ultimately, I was between UVA and Virginia Tech and I got waitlisted by Duke. Um, Duke was my top school but waitlist happens. Um, I ultimately chose UVA because I think it gave me that academic ability to still explore my interests. Um, I don't want to be uh, restricted to just one major, especially in my first year when I'm figuring out college and seeing what I want to explore. Um, I am interested in neuroscience, but I want to see what other types of uh, opportunities there are at UVA. And I feel like at Tech, I was a little bit more restricted. Um, so I decided to go with UVA, um, keep my options open, and I just felt more at home there. I'm a proud HCS graduate because of all the opportunities HCS has been able to provide me. Um, I don't just go to school, read a book, and go home, but I'm able to actually participate in a lot of clubs and do sports um, and have a lot of opportunities that other schools don't have. My parents have been my biggest supporters. Um, since kindergarten, the motto has always been, I don't care how you do as long as you tried your best. Um, that's a motto I've tried to live by. As long as I do my best, it's what matters. Um, and I'd also like to thank my sister. She's been one of my biggest inspirations. Um, just being there for me is kind of my rock. Um, and then of course my friends, they've obviously been the best people out there. And I'd also like to thank my teacher, Mr. Mark Mingi. He has provided me with so many opportunities throughout school. He's the one that t takes me to Model General Assemblies, provided me with mo uh, Model Judiciary Program and Conference on National Affairs. Those things have like shaped who I am as a person. So he's really the person to thank. <laughs>